If we command our wealth, we should be rich and free. If our wealth commands us, we are poor indeed. Edmund Burke. Over 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Visually, that's over a half of a whole pizza. That's a lot. And it makes you wonder, what are the 40% doing? Because as you can see, the middle class is being squeezed and falling down into poverty. And the rich, they seem to be getting richer and richer. So there obviously is something that they're doing that everyone else is not doing. And well, what do you do? Well, you have to follow the money. And so that's exactly what we're gonna do in this video. We're going to look at people that are in poverty. We're gonna look at the middle class and we're gonna look at the rich and see exactly what are they doing with their money that's different so that you can move from poverty or the middle class, the working class up into rich because we have to be responsible with our funds because the life is either gonna get better or it's gonna get worse. Because there are only three types of people, well technically four types of people, but you're not gonna be the one, the fourth type of person because the fourth type of person is foolish. And obviously you clicked on this video, so that means that you're not foolish. The third type here at the bottom level is smart, but there are smart broke people and people that have learned a lot of different things. But the problem is that they learned a lot, but they're not actually implying it. So you can have know a lot of stuff and be aware of a lot of stuff and have a lot of knowledge. But if you don't apply it, that only makes you smart. But you wanna be more than smart, you wanna be intelligent. An intelligent person is able to actually understand the things that they learn. And then they're able to see how this relates to that. And they're able to adopt and adapt to change. Now, after you become smart and intelligent, the real goal is to become wise. And the person that's wise, they're able to apply what they actually learned. And so I'm gonna reveal to you, you wanna make sure you stick around to the whole video because I'm gonna reveal to you how to go from poor to rich. And of course, it's a process. But once you start doing this framework that I'm about to give you you're, and follow the formula, you're gonna be on to a lot better situation. Our financial lives are like machines. And so right here, you can see there is a uh, assembly line. And that represents our financial lives. And above it right there, you see that you see that coin and that filter. And that filter represents our income. And this, like I said, is for the, the people that are in poverty. Well, what happens is we, of course, all have expenses. And so that's what this little drip is. It is our expenses. So they have income and expenses. But of course, we have also liabilities. Well, people that are poor, they don't have any liabilities. So that's why that meter is right there in the center because they can get good liabilities or bad liabilities, but they don't have any at all because they don't have enough funds coming in. And of course, the box represents the, the bills. And obviously, the income goes into the bills and it pays for the bills. And then the next thing you know, that's all they can do. So income comes in and income goes out. And they don't have enough money to save. The middle class, they have income, they have expenses, and they also have liabilities. And liabilities are long-term debts that they have to pay. And so they have the bad kind because they go and let's say they have student loans, they have a car payment, they have all of these long-term debts that they have to pay. Now, people that are in poverty, they can't afford to get a car or their credit may not be good to get a credit card or something. So they don't have those things. But the people in the middle class, in the working middle class, they work really hard and they use their income as proof to get credit. And they use those credits to buy liabilities that they ultimately still have to pay. And if they have savings, they have very little savings, which is what that box is. Now, let's talk about the people that are rich. What do the rich do? Because obviously there has to be something different. Well, the first thing is they have liabilities, but their liabilities, they use it in a better way. And what do I mean by that? Well, what they do is they have this shelf here called their asset shelf. And they use the liabilities to purchase assets and acquire assets when they create them. But practically speaking, how does this help them? Well, they are able to save because of it. Because what they do is they get these liabilities 
and they use it for business or they use it to buy whatever it is that they need that will actually produce assets. So when they go through their machine, they create this asset. And then the asset pays for, produces income for them, and that income goes through this filter, and the next thing they know, they create another asset, and then they create another asset. So what is happening is these assets are paying for their expenses, and these assets are producing multiple streams of income. So if you found this helpful, and this gets your mind thinking, then you want to make sure that you hit the like button. Now, it's important to know that you don't have to go into debt in order to become rich. But what you do have to do is switch your focus. And you're switching your focus from liabilities and you're switching your focus over to creating assets. And you only start with one at a time. You don't try to have multiple streams of income at once. You start small and you start with one thing. And then once that thing is gone and it's producing what you call passive income, where the income is, you did all the original hard work to set it up, then you move on to the next one. Now, what people do that are in poverty and in the middle class, what they do is they work one job and they get paid once. And then they got to go back and work that job again to get paid again. But what the rich do is they invest and create assets. And those assets, they work on it one time and they create this, whether it's a book, whether it's a, a album, whatever it is, they created it once. It's able to pay them income after they produced it. This could be in the form of royalties, interest, dividends. The point is, it is continuous income that comes in continuously versus having some type of liability that keeps sucking money out of your machine constantly, constantly, and constantly. It's two ways to build wealth. You can either, one, invest or start a business. Those are the two ways. Now, if you decide to invest, you still have to do your research and learn how to invest in things that are actually going to produce profits for you. And when it comes to business, you still have to use your creativity to find ways to create and acquire assets by solving somebody's problem. So the first step to creating and acquiring assets is education. So if you want to serve people at a high level and prosper in all areas of your life, then you definitely want to subscribe to this channel. I am Roberto Swift, and I will see you in the next video.